everyone. I just got this new incubator today. Just got it in the mail. I'm so excited because uh, I've only ever tried the little giant incubators and I am excited to um, test this one out and see how much improved the hatch rate is going to be in comparison to the little giant incubators and also I am building my own incubator and I have it um, partially assembled. You can see I have um, some equipment in here and um, I'm going to modify it a little bit more. It's not quite ready. In a couple of weeks I will have that done hopefully. So this is the um, Brinse Octagon 20 Eco. It's a manual turn model but the the great thing about it is you don't have to open it up to turn each egg individually. Because of the shape, they have it set up so t in order to turn it, you turn the whole thing like this, and then you would turn it, um, you know, because you have to do this two or three times a day, and then you, you turn it the other way like that. And that's how you turn the whole thing. So, um, this is pretty much um, the best incubator that, uh, that I could afford uh, right now for a small quantity of eggs and um, to be very durable. These, some of these styrofoam ones are very hard to clean. They don't last several seasons. Um, it just depends, but this one I'm really excited about. This has a two-year warranty and I expect it to last a lot longer. So I've had it running for several hours and it's been um, steady around 99 degrees, which is uh, perfect. It should be 99.5. You can There is a thermometer in there and I know it's hard for you to see. There is a little bit of humidity that is built up on the inside and it's you know, but I mean, you can see there's a 100 right there, 90 right there, and you can see the blue line is almost up to the 100, but not quite. Let's take a look at the inside. So it's really easy to take the top off, just like that. It's also a very quiet machine. You can see uh, the numbers are going to start rapidly dropping. This is my unit that I wanted to set in there feels nice and warm in here too. It feels like it kind of holds it, holds the heating well. Um, the instructions say to um, just fill one of these three quarters of the way. I'm just going to be incubating regular chicken eggs and I'll probably set them in about two days or so. This is the uh, incubating tray and these come out and go in quite easily and you get six of them so you can handle different size eggs. I'm just super excited to get started on my hatching for this year and hopefully with the addition of this incubator we have a higher success rate and hopefully um, it increases the hatch rate on hatching eggs that I might want to purchase because, you know, when they're shipped, um, you know, you can lose a little bit due to uh, the post office and how they handle things. But, um, you know, I've had people tell me that they've ordered shipped eggs and had 100% hatch rate in this, uh, this machine right here or, you know, another one of this model. Good luck and keep our fingers crossed. I will keep you updated on what I'm doing with my hatching, what incubator I'm using, what eggs I'm hatching, what species and breed, and we'll go from there. Okay, well the eggs have been in here for almost 24 hours now. The instructions say um, not to open it for the first 24 hours because that's how long it takes just to get everything up to temperature. And I had the incubator running for a couple of days beforehand and I know that it was running steady and everything checked out. So um, right now the temperature is reading just under 99 degrees. Um, I 
put the eggs in here around dinner time yesterday and it is late morning today so um, according to the instructions later on today it will be completely up to temperature and you can see I have it turned I'm turning in the morning and in the evening I'm going to turn two times a day and, uh, and then we'll see how it goes I have 24 eggs in there that is the maximum capacity All right, well, stay tuned to my future videos. I'm going to end this video here. Um, I plan to film uh, eggs hatching and uh, egg candling um, and things like that.